All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, you know, today our topic is about uh, more than politics. And, uh, you know, before I start, uh, first I'm coming early. I said to myself, well, why would we make them wait? I mean, uh, we better go early. Uh, I saw in the comment, uh, one of you, I forgot his name. I think his name, uh, uh, Hogus something, Hogus. I'm not sure of the name. Uh, yeah, Gabriel uh, Hugs, Hugs, sorry. He was saying, don't you people know that war mean people about getting killed? You know, I don't know, Gabriel, I think he, I think he, this guy, he live in heaven and he think uh, we are in heaven and uh, war never exists and will never exist. Uh, so uh, let us uh, see how Mr. Gabriel, he understand the world. So Iran is killing people, Iran supporting terrorists, Iran caused the death of hundreds of not thousands of our soldiers, and if we go in war, people will get killed. So Mr. Gabriel is saying to you, American, well, let American die and don't cause war. I mean, sometimes I, 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 I listen to people's logic and I find it very funny. And I, I don't know. The, I mean, I, may, I think this guy, maybe he is a student of Michael Moore. Michael Moore, yesterday he said that this is the gift of the Christians for the world. What is the gift of the Christians? Killing, killing a terrorist. And what does this have to do with the Christian? I mean, what this, what this, I mean look how much they hate Christianity. What does this have to do with the Christian? Those soldiers are American. There is Christians, there is atheists, there is all kinds of people. So we have a bunch of naive people who watch too much CNN and they learn their information from the media. I am coming from the Middle East and me, myself, I am an Arab. Those countries, all of them in the Middle East, they understand one language it's called intimidation. I don't know how many of you notice that even when you debate with Muhammadan here in YouTube, they try to intimidate you. You know what I mean? They, they wish that intimidation will work with you so you will go and sleep. Shut up. So uh, they try to frame you. They try to humiliate you. They try, they try everything. It's based on one strategic intimidation. And Iran was intimidating all the neighbors because they noticed that American, they became very peaceful. Let us make it simple. Obama, the first week after he became a president, he went to Egypt. He said, I will never go in war. Never. So it doesn't matter what you do. I will never go in war. Okay. So Iran understood the message very well. Eight years of Obama care. You see, they say Obama care about health. Obama care for Iran. He gave them the money. He opened the sanctions. And Iran became like a big octopus. They have militant groups everywhere in the world. In Kenya, in South Africa, in Nicaragua. In, 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 in Venezuela. I mean, you, you, you cannot believe it. Venezuela. Do you know that the vice president of the filthy Chavez is Hezbollah member? Do you know that? So their hands expand everywhere. You know, when Hezbollah uh, blew up a synagogue in Buenos Aires and they killed a lot of Jews, what was the world response for this? Nothing. Just a few months ago, the French intelligence, they arrested many members of Hezbollah were planning to assassinate many of the oppositions who live in France. Go, go read the news. So Hezbollah in, uh, you know, is, is not just a local organization. Okay, they want to maybe beat themselves. They want to pray to Ali and Allah, whatever. No. They are a global terrorist organization. And the purpose is 
to intimidate you. Guys, uh, forget about this Farid. I mean, what's wrong with you, Farid? At least bring me something good. I mean, this guy, I will not even hire him to be a driver for me if he isn't qualified to be a driver. Just don't mention those names. We made a video, we got him busted, and we have other videos. Uh, you know, he, he got humiliated, him and Mimi Hijab. Just forget about him. Anyone will mention his name, I will ban him. You know, if they are men, let me, so what's what we will do now? He respond, he respond, he respond, he respond, he respond. It's like, a, you know, the, the windshield in the car. <laughs> what's wrong with you? There are a bunch of kids. If he is man enough, he will call me. Leave the rest. Let him respond to himself. He don't dare to respond. This is not a respond. If you want to respond, he will dare to call me and he is not a man. He's a potato. Like Mimi Hijab, who said he will debate me, but the debate never happened and we are waiting for it. Coward potato. You see, he was intimidated. This is the reason he did not debate me. Because those people, they understand one language, intimidation. They cannot int intimidate Christian Prince. So whatever they do in their uh, uh, strategic plan, it doesn't matter what it is, we a war or not, not war. It's about intimidation. Even the husband, you know, you can ask, who is a Middle Eastern here? Anyone who is a Middle Eastern here? You can ask Middle Eastern. Do you know what the Middle Eastern men they do when they get married? You might not believe it. Now, maybe now they don't practice that. But in the in the in the wedding night, the guy he bring a cat and he cut her head. He cut the head of the cat to intimidate the women to show her that he is a bloody filthy man. If this is what they do with their bride in the in the wedding night, so what do you expect they will do in normal? I mean, in war. So. We have a bunch of idiots who try to understand what's happening, not based in what's happening, but based in what they hear from CNN. Do you understand me? So if a Trump attack, he's a, he's a, he's, you know, he is a bad guy. If he did not attack, he's a bad guy. I will give you an example. When, when uh, uh, Trump, he went to South Korea and he shake hand with a dictator, what they start saying? <laughs> he's shaking hand with a dictator. <laughs> but two weeks before, he was a threat in North Korea. They said he want to start a nuclear war. He want to start a nuclear war, this crazy man. He will destroy the world. So if he shake hands with a dictator, he's a bad man. If he want to go to war, he's a bad man. It doesn't matter what he do. Do you understand? It doesn't matter what he do, they hate him. All right. So, uh, actually, Trump, I was upset from him. They they hit the American airplane a few months ago. What Trump? He did nothing, and that gave them the wrong signal. You see, in the Middle East. Uh, uh, I will tell you this story, which is just to give you like, like uh, an idea. Uh, I moved to a different school, which I don't know anyone in, inside the school. And they told me there's a guy, a bunch of guys, like they are bully, you know, like Mimi, Mimi and Fifi, and you know. So they bully you. Anyone, he come to you, they bully him. And they try to beat you up, actually, from the first day, so you became like a cat. So they told me, get ready. The second you enter the school, they will attack you. You know, for no reason, just because you are new and because they want to intimidate you. So the first day I went to school, I asked them, like, how I find them, who are they, to know who are they. They said, don't worry, they will be like a group. They will see them right away and they will be looking at you. So when I went to the school the first day in the morning, I went in, the, in their direction. I saw them. I don't know them, but they are right. I mean, they are like a gang, you know, they are together and they are looking at me and they are like a bunch of heroes. So I went to their, them and I said, who want to fight? <laughs> They look at me like, what? They su supposedly, they are the one who should do that. I came to them and said, who want to fight? Why? Because those people understand the language of intimidation. And then they start thinking, if this guy is coming to fight us, God knows how many people with him. There is no way he is coming by himself to fight us. Look how many we are. He is coming looking for a fight. And I said, who, you or you? Or maybe you? Ah, you. Huh? So those people, they are cowards. They gang many against one. 
But if the one he showed that he is the one intimidating them suddenly became the bunch of cats. Anyway, I'm just trying to give you an idea about how they understand those, how those people, they understand the world. So if America is soft, that means so America is weak. And that means they can do more and more and more. And look how evil they are. Uh, when ISIS was almost arriving to Baghdad, they kissed the shoes of a Trump to send his army. Literally. Those Shia mullahs, they kissed the shoes and the bum of a Trump. Please save us. Almost they arrived to Baghdad. And Trump, he saved them. He sent his army there. Because the USA was withdrawing their army already from Iraq. We are done. And now, because they do not need you no more, ISIS is finished. So the plan of Iran, we will bother them. We will send some, you know, bombs here, bombs there, kill five here, ten there, you know. Like, we are not launching war because they don't dare. They are coward. So they will use their puppy to make you bleed slowly and then you decide to leave. And this is the plan. As simple as that. So Iran can swallow Iraq, Iran is swallow Syria, Iran is swallow Hezbollah, and next Iran will swallow Israel. So this is not a war of a choice. This is a war, something, somebody have to do something. It's like cleaning the garbage. Who of us like to carry garbage? None. But we have to clean the garbage. An Iran regime is nothing but a garbage. We don't want war against the Iranian. Actually, you know what? If a war is started, the regime will collapse immediately because a lot of Iranian they are against. Did you see this uh, funeral for this guy? Hundreds of thousands in the street. Those, th those people, they, they force them to go because if you don't go, all the employees in the government, they say to them, today you are off, you will go to the funeral. And if you don't go, you will lose your job. The same exactly as North Korea. Who dare not to wave his hand to the president of Jin Kong, King Ho, He Ha, Ho Ha. This uh, fluffy balloon who think he is really a president. Just uh, less than 30, 40 days ago, remember the Iranian, they were burning the flag of the Re revolution guards. And they were holding the flags of USA and they were taking the signs of death to America because they have a sign like this everywhere in the street. You can watch them in YouTube. You can watch them in, in Twitter. So already we, if we go in war, we are not fighting alone. The Iranian, they will join us. And the government of this mullah's regime will collapse. And if I am a Trump now, I will let the 60,000 ISIS prisoners free in Iraq. Huh? Because now they think they are strong because we, we, we saved them. What about we let the dog, who let the dogs out? <laughs> America is holding 60,000 fighters from ISIS, a bunch of criminals. What about we let those criminals fight the criminals? And Trump, he sent his army back. Okay, we will not go on war with you. Deal with them. My friend, nobody will sign with Iran. You see, all those statements is a statement. But in reality, nobody sides with nobody. You know, like uh, China, uh, yeah, you know, they have, because they have business with Iran. Uh, Russia, they have business. This is a diplomatic thing. But nobody will side. Side, nobody will. Nobody will dare to side. Nobody will get in a war with America for the sake of anyone. You know, this is America. This is not uh, the, bana the banana republic. Uh, <clears throat> in heaven, in his kingdom, why punish Sadhu? Uh, Philip, I think you have a mental issue because you are speaking about a topic, not our topic, and you are not welcome here. So then, secondly, the Bible speak about it. It's not you and you are an idiot. Uh, 
you know i assure you are you wearing a diaper and you have little thing those four kids they put them in their mouth and they suckle from it i mean look at the question why do you need me don't get married your wife it doesn't matter if it's a man or, or a girl huh she will jump from the window because you are from those who marry him you know I mean, what's wrong with those people where do i get those people from all right uh what do you think i don't know if somebody asking me a question maybe maybe not for me i mean look what we are talking about and he's talking about lgb community what does what does it have to do with this you know what you are a kind of a person if you go to the eye doctor you will tell him uh, 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 down there it's hurting me he will say to you I'm an eye doctor I have nothing to do with that uh, uh, <clears throat> what's wrong with those people they try to change the topic they are hurted why Trump sell arms exactly why not okay hold on why we will not sell arms to Saudi Arabia arms is made to be sold there's two kind of arms there's arms is made for us in America which nobody shall have unless it became antique and there's arms made to be sold and that will bring a lot of money to USA now if a war right now happened with Iran all the, well, the weapon uh, Saudi Arabia bought from us is going to be used by their money for our benefit. Do you understand me? So if, for, it's, if this is for our benefit at the end of the day. Can you make a video about people versus Muhammad? What people versus Muhammad? What this, guys, focus with me on the topic. And do you see the title? Why, why people, they, we talk about uh, what is today? Today is Sunday, like it's not a crazy day or something. What does this have to do? Okay, focus with me, focus, focus. All right. So what the Trump is doing, actually, this man, I believe he is a brilliant. And I will tell you why. After the sanctions he put more than a year ago, or almost three years ago, Iran as a government is bankrupt literally and war need money <clears throat> guys don't change the topic anyone who will change the topic I will ban you please don't don't go out there the guy is gone and that's it so he he first bankrupt them nobody buy oil from them they cannot buy, they cannot sell, they cannot do business. And now if they want to go in war, war need money. Who is going to pay for this war? Do you understand? So this man, Trump, is like a kid who went behind your car and he put a needle in your gas tank. And you know he put a needle there. Hmm? He told you, hey, hey. With a needle, ta -la 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 -la. and because you are a fool, you did not sit. And after two years <coughs> of the needle is there, your tongue is empty. Hmm? If people ask, please answer respect. I don't respect my friend. I don't know. I'm in the Middle Eastern. You don't like it? Get go. Take a hike. Here we go. I will remove your text from the uh, Ivan. Ivan, Christian Plinth, if somebody asks what's in answer, I don't respect, I don't do that. I don't. Why you are here? Hello? Error. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain. All right, is it working now? I hope now it's working. Let us see. 
Do you hear me now, guys? Am I heard? Midi, midi. Midi. It's not working. No, it's working. No? Man. Okay, now I think it's working, isn't it now? Yeah, let us see. I don't know why this is happening. All right. Mm. No sound, no sound. It says here no, no data too. Let me see what happened. Very bad. 